Happy Thanksgiving, everyone. Today we have something a little different. Uh, this is a salt lamp, and uh, it has a bulb in it. And uh, according to the uh, owner, uh, they were a bit aggressive and uh, damaged the actual wire that was in there. I don't know. The story feels missing some details, but it doesn't matter. So we have this replacement light here. And uh, this doesn't seem to have a switch. Well, maybe that's the switch. I'm not sure. No, it looks like it just kind of holds it in place, but we'll plug it in, test it. You can see it works. So the light switch. No, it's not a switch. It just kind of holds the bulb in place. Okay. So we're going to try to see if this is a worthwhile replacement for the bulb that is here. Or maybe we can save this because the form factor is different. Yeah. So let's experiment. First thing we're going to do is take the... Let's remove this... Uh, This is two Phillips here, and it's a little, a little rusty. Interesting, right? It's probably because uh, the chemical reaction with the salt and the uh, whatever metal this is looks like it's going to be steel or something, maybe. Well, it's pretty, pretty rusty. Yeah, it's, it's steel, all right. Or some aluminum with a high amount of magnesium in it. That also allow for it to have some magnetism. Come on. All right, there we go. Well, yeah, it just kind of screws right into there. That's neat. <laughs> I've never licked one of these. I wonder if this can be used as a salt lick. So this bulb <laughs> has blown, I think. Yeah. Let's see. Okay. So let's kind of squeeze that through. Hmm. Yeah, this bulb. See how dark it is around the top. So it blew at some point. And maybe that was a frustration the owner had. And then we have like just two. I think this is just pretty much like ground and power that goes into this that makes this work. And, uh,. I wonder if this bulb is the same. I'll give it a try and see. So I was thinking uh, probably would be good to get an idea what's inside of this. And uh, so I'm gonna unscrew this and see if I can separate this clam. We have like a, the Phillips on this side. Hmm. Got a Phillips on this side here, and a nut on that side, so I got a it's super small. Hmm. I got to find a way to hold that while I that'll work. Yeah, that'll work. Yep, that's not going to work. I just want to 
line. Let's see. Yeah, that did work. I did loosen it up. Just need to kind of hold it some more. There we go. Yeah, that's. Hmm. Does that separate? Let's get this bulb out of there. separates. Okay. We're in. What is this? So that's all it is. It's just some copper and So that was just some copper. Hmm. So I'm gotta I gotta kinda devise a plan, you know, like a strategy to solve this. Okay. So this is what we got, and we need a strategy here. So somewhere along the lines, this kind of like holds the ground and the positive in there. It looks like it was soldered onto here from the way this piece looks. Yeah, looks like the wire was just soldered soldered right onto it. Okay, so that's the solution. We'll uh, probably take the other wire. So I'm sorry, look. See, it was kind of soldered. Whoa. So we are going to do the same thing. We're going to Get a piece of wire and solder it back onto there. All right, so I think we got to do a little bit of soldering here. Um, let's uh, do this. We're gonna cut this off, right? So let's save this bulb. Uh, just back it off a little bit, not cut it all the way in case we need to use this later on for something else, right? Okay. Okay. It's like a commitment, right? You're like, oh, once you cut it, that's it. <laughs> yeah, that's, that's about right. So, I'm just going to slice this down the middle. It's, uh, that's about what we need, right? And then we're going to slightly strip this back a little bit. Just enough to like stick it in there. And these, these are great, just to let you know. You know, it comes with stripping. You can strip from the front, strip from the side. So these, these would be on the side. See like, 
and you kind of feed it in through there and, and you go like that. The only issue is sometimes you can't get the tool in the right spot. So you need to get both of them. I recommend them. Strongly recommend them. So. Okay. So that's what we have. The wire is exposed. And we're going to try to solder this together. Hopefully this should be enough. Yeah, just jam it in there and solder it together. Let's do it. So, this is my helping hands. Get your glasses. So, what I'm doing, I'm tinning the wire so that way we can, uh, Good connection here. It's pretty good. Beautiful. Okay, so let's Looks pretty good. So we gotta get these back on. So just gonna slide them into those grooves. Down, huh? Just like that. And if I was smart, I would have probably put some shrink, heat shrink on this. But we'll, uh, we'll address that. No worries. Okay, so. goes on top like that and then this comes through should probably address that shouldn't we before we can go any further yeah let's uh we gotta address that just we need to test it 
Just cool. I just want to like temporarily like hold this together like that, just so I can uh, test to see if this works. This is the bulb from the other one. So it's the same bulb. Now let's see if it works. We're good. All right. One more time. Okay. So that works, right? So now let's make this a whole lot safer because that's scary. Was it like that? Was it like that? No, it comes like this. Right? I think. Yeah. Hmm. That's going to be a bit of a challenge. I don't know what the torque specs are on this. Jokes intended. Well, that should be enough. Let's see if we can get that. Oh wait. That goes in here like this. Gaping. It's amazing how corrosive salt is, isn't it?
Looks like we have succeeded. Yeah. Let's see. Let's center this up a little bit more. Yeah. All right. That's it. We did it. Happy Thanksgiving, everybody. Merry Christmas and a wonderful New Year's 2023. Listen, if you liked this repair, go ahead and give it a thumbs up. Like it. Subscribe. Try to connect with me, too, if you want. Thanks again for hanging out, and I uh, hope to see you next video.